Megan Kelly makes tearful on air apology for blackface. Oh, she comments. better, dude. Blackface? Tearful? Whoa. Tearful. Oh, can we see it right there? Yeah, I think so. Oh, wow. Uh, an emotional Megan Kelly began her program Wednesday by reading a prepared apology. Let's see if this is the apology. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the show. I'm Megan Kelly, and I want to begin with two words I'm sorry. You- Boo. Well, dude. I mean, I don't, dude, the second, I'm sorry. The second, what did she say? The second I hear the words, I'm sorry, I just feel instantly repulsed. I just don't even want to hear it. Well, you know what? There are times where that's actually the proper thing to do. True. But it's so overdone now because everybody's expected to immediately capitulate and say it when somebody gets offended by something they've said. Well, who are you apologizing to? I just want to know what she said. Yeah. What did she say? Yeah, I mean, like, maybe is it, is it actually apology. worthy of like, like, Let's find out more. You may have heard that yesterday we had a discussion here about political correctness and Halloween costumes. Uh-huh. And that conversation turned to whether it is ever okay for a person of one race to dress up as another. Yeah. Yeah, that actually it's fine. It is. It's fine. It's fine. Do what you want. A black person making their face lighter or a white person making theirs darker to make a because costume complete. Else does. I defended the idea, saying as long as it, as it was respect. I defended an idea. I, I had a real position, and I'm sorry. I'm, s- I'm so sorry I had an opinion. <laughs> oh, God. I expressed a point of view that is apparently no longer allowed, and I am so. What a fucking I'm shit so time to be working sorry. in this industry. I am so sorry that I dared to have an opinion. That I mean, one thing she advocated for blackface, like, you know what? Let's bring, let's bring vaudeville do, blackface back. Do you want to you know, know I mean, when blackface on. is racist? When you put it on and put big red lips on and big oversized shoes, and yes, you walk so around going, massa? yes, a massa, a little soft shoe for you. Let me sprinkle some salt. A shaka, 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 a shaka. Whoa, I fell over. I'm a big buffoon. That's racist, motherfucker. Dressing up like somebody that's a different race from you and putting makeup on to complete the costume is not inherently racist. Respectful and part of a Halloween costume, it seemed okay. It is. It is. It is okay. It's a Halloween costume. It's a kid (laughs) or a person dressing up on Halloween as something that they aren't. It is okay. (laughs) It's okay. There's nothing about that that's not okay other than what the outrage mongers that forced you to make this apology think. Oh, dude, it's not even that. I mean, yeah, they're they're part of it, but it's also part of being a... If you're part of a major studio or network or whatever... You have to do this to keep your job. They don't give a shit at this I point. W- and, yeah. any, head, any head can roll. CEOs heads have rolled. Like this is one thing that'll sink <laughs> a fucking company. So now you have to do this. You have to. All you gotta do is look hand. at Papa John and Roseanne. Dude, you know what? I, I don't think this is good enough. She should be on her hands and fucking knees, groveling Gro- before a, an ocean of black people. Please forgive me. And then it's like I think that they should be like the Council of Blacks with like. You know, Al Sharpton, and uh, I don't know who else is even alive. I know, uh, Jesse Jackson's still alive, dude. The outrage Jesse machine. Jesse still alive? I thought he was dead. I, I don't even... Jesse Jackson? No, he's alive. He's All right, alive. so Jesse Jackson can be on there. I don't know who else. Con- we got to get Kanye. Oh, no, he's, he lost no, his black Kanye card. lost his black card. That's right, he dude. lost his black yeah, card. Yeah, they yanked it because he wore a uh, Jay-Z. Jay-Z. Jay-Z, 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 still Jay-Z be on there. and Beyonce. Beyonce. Yeah, we got to get the yeah, queen, Yeah, Beyonce too. has to be on there. So then we put a, we, the, she has to go grovel before the Council of Blacks and beg for forgiveness. <laughs> the Council of Blacks. And then they each give either their thumbs up for, like, she is forgiven or their thumbs down for kill her and now. It's, it's a right. final ruling. Yeah, and there's they listen to her pleas, and then they each vote, and unless it's unanimous that she's forgiven... She's killed. And that's how things should work from now on. Oh, my God. This is fucking retarded. Hold on. Let's, let's hear more. Was it not okay when Robert Downey Jr. dressed up like a black dude in Tropic Thunder? Was that not okay now? Or are we on the record? Because the media loved that movie. Oh, yeah. They're against that. Okay. Yeah, of course. One of the great parts of sitting in this chair each day is getting to discuss different points of view. Sometimes I talk and sometimes I listen. And yesterday I learned. I learned that given the history of... I learned, uh, I learned, that, I learned that if I express this particular opinion, but there's way too much backlash. Obviously, discussion is not important because all... Like, look, if, if we're having a, a, a talk about whatever it is, whatever issue we're talking about, whether it's controversial or not, every idea should be represented. Even if you don't agree with those ideas, people should be mature enough to say, well, I don't agree with what she said and move on with their lives. Not say, well, no, well, let's start the fucking witch hunt. I learned face. yesterday... That anything that I say out of the super narrow, hypersensitive feminist Overton window will get me massive amounts of backlash. So therefore, 
I will change my opinion to agree with those people. <laughs> What a disgusting fucking culture, dude. <laughs> and this is exactly what we're... like. Fuck we we think this Kelly. is good. This is what we want. I have a genuine opinion. And then some people got offended. And now I've changed my opinion to their opinion. That's what we want from people. I, Fuck you! Am I a good boy now? <laughs> oh my God. Is Megyn Kelly good now? Well, let's hear a little more. It's being used in awful ways by racists in this country. It is not okay for that to be part of any costume Halloween or otherwise. It's not okay for racists to put blackface on and act racist and do racist things with racist intent. It is very well okay for anybody else to do whatever the fuck they want with their fucking costume. Jesus fucking Christ, man. What is this culture? How the fuck do we even step outside our front doors? I don't know. Uh, Person. But I do understand the value in being sensitive to our history, particularly on race and ethnicity. This past year has been so painful for many people of color. The country feels so divided. Sucking on the devil's dick. Sucking that SJW dick. Sucking on the dick. devil dick. This is horrible, dude. dude Megan, it's not even SJW anymore. This is just the this is the mainstream culture. The mainstream culture. When you say something like, oh, "I don't think a blackface in a costume is inherently racist." If you don't capitulate and grovel before them and talk about how you've been instructed now, I learned. (laughs) I learned. I learned a lesson. I learned that having an opinion outside of the fucking mainstream is bad. Good evening, Paul. You will now enter the re-education facility. Ugh. Dude, it's just, it's... She's already a fucking Stepford wife, and it's just like, you know, people she got think, reprogrammed dude, people again. People think this shit, this shit is scary, where it's like, you can't even have an opinion now before, like, now it's like, oh, now you have to change your opinion. Now you, now, like, yeah, you've made this, you know, whether you agree with it or not, probably at least sound argument. Like, well, you know, I mean, if it's done in a, a certain context, it's okay. She's like, a no. Fox News babe. Like, wait, why, why didn't she just stay over there? They'd let her say that over there. Oh, yeah, she could have said it all day. She had a, she was she had a great, uh, highly rated show. Why'd I mean, it she wasn't decide great, that all of a sudden she wasn't going to be a fucking Fox News babe? Because that she was going to be a mainstream babe. Because she had this idea that she was going to just take it by storm and become a hu- even bigger cultural force. But she wrong. Didn't, she didn't realize, like, no, when you turn your back on the right wing, they're going to turn their back on you, and the mainstream culture is never going to fucking embrace you. Because the second you you dip one little tiny toe out of line, you're out on screen apologizing not, and begging for your fucking dude, job. She's not fucking liberal enough for that to work. Yeah. And she's not bland enough for that to work. You have to just be completely bland or completely, like Paul said. You can't have any opinions. Progressive. and like Any look, opinions other than the fact that you agree with everything that the culture agrees with. She's she, you got she, an opinion that is even one little half measure step outside of that. You are fucked. You're groveling like Megan Kelly, the robot here. But, 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 but please. 